Everybody here? Yeah? Enjoy your breaks. Congratulations to Gino and Tanger for, for the All-Star game. Gino, you and Tanger don't have to practice on Monday. You guys can have that day, okay? That's the Metropolitan over there. You like bees? I feel like every defenseman uses this one. I need to try the others. All stick is different. Gee, who are we taking back with us to Pittsburgh? I think each one. Not defenseman, forwards. Hey, you see the full rally? Look good. I know. Yes. It must work for him. It's not broken. <laughs> that is crazy. How do you play with his gloves? Stammers. That's the neat thing about seeing all this equipment. Every player has different stuff. I'm sure there's guys that would look at your stuff, Gino, and say, wow, this is weird. Why is regular? It's fine. Halfway through January, General Manager Jim Rutherford was still looking for the identity of his team. The Penguins were improving, but teetering on the playoff bubble. They needed to start winning. You get to play against a team that played in the finals last year, you know, you get a good chance to match yourself up against. Dang comes in and he scores right from the face off. Back to Hedman, center point shot, score. The lightning strike again. This Tampa Bay team has come to play. This has been a crazy game. Whoa, I would say the least. Clever by the Penguins, Weber daily gets his in. Kucherov at the blue line, he shoots the puck towards an end, the puck is in front, Domestikov with it in. Tampa has won this game in overtime. You can't always control the outcome. Let's not get distracted because we didn't get the result. Let's just become a more determined group. That's the message that we've been trying to preach to our guys. Good morning, Pittsburgh. Josh Getzoff here on the Penguins Radio Network, and it has been a busy morning for the Penguins after last night's loss to Tampa Bay. Rutherford working the phones, sending forward David Perron and defenseman Adam Clendenning to Anaheim in exchange for the speedster Carl Hagelin, who will make his Penguins debut on Sunday against Carolina. Big deal for the Pens overnight. It was a short night for Rutherford. Four hours after the deal was consummated, he switched hats. And the job requirements for a dad are slightly different. Okay, James, you can start to get ready. Do you have a game today or practice? Game. Game. These pads are the same as Fleury wears. Number 29, huh, James? How do they feel? Good? There we go. Glenn Hall is always my favorite goalie. Terry Sawchuk, Les Binkley. Pull your arm out towards me. Push. Okay. You want to tell them about your mask? I got the Pittsburgh logo. My dad, Foy, me, and my own meal. Put her on. Okay, you all set, James? I'll be up top, buddy. So this is part of coming to the games, too. Still have my office with me. <laughs> it's nice to be able to watch a game where the kids are having fun and not have the stress level of watching the Penguins games. The fact that my son wanted to play goal is a proud moment for me the first time I saw him skate out there. I didn't have any influence because when you play goalie, only one guy gets to play the games. <laughs> he really watches NHL games and watches Flurry all the time, so he has all the moves down, but he's only seven years old. The main thing is just to have fun, and that's what he's doing. This is good. I haven't seen him play in several weeks. Uh, the schedule hasn't allowed it. His mother brings him all the time. And this one's a tough one, too, because we just made the Hagelin trade last night. And I remember my last phone call was at 3.10 in the morning and up at 7 to bring him here. But I wasn't going to miss this. In hockey, missed opportunities could be monumental. So Jim Rutherford jumped at the chance to trade for a player who has plagued the Penguins over the years. 
played a lot of games in this building before, and it's always, you know, it's a fun atmosphere. Uh, can't wait to be playing for the home team. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to it, and it's good to get going right away tomorrow with an early game and get thrown in there right away. Me and Hornquist skate a lot in the summer. Uh, worked out a little bit a couple years back, too, so he's a guy I know pretty well. And then Kevin Porter was my captain freshman year in college. For me, I just try to play my game. It's important that I do whatever I'm good at on the ice, you know, use my speed and use my energy. I think that's why they traded for me. So I'm just going to try to go in there and do everything I can do to help the team. Playing a lot of playoff series against the Penguins has made me spend a little bit more time in this city compared to other cities. But I have a good impression, and hopefully it's just going to get better. This afternoon, from the Consol Energy Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the National Hockey League presents the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Carolina Hurricanes. My legs were feeling good. I got a couple chances. I didn't bury, but I think uh, I did a good job on the PK. I mean, I'm not, not going to sit here and talk about myself. We won't find out things. So it's a team game, and I think uh, the guys were you know, great to me, and it was an easy adjustment. They want to steal again. Porter to Siri shooting, scoring! Connor Siri beats Eddie Lack, and he doesn't know whether to cry or wind his watch. And yes, Elvis has just left the building. The arc of their season just passed the midpoint, and Game 45 brought the Penguins west to St. Louis for their second game in as many nights. When you go back to back and you have to go into St. Louis, so I've done that a lot of times. It's a tough task. I just felt that we didn't stick with it long enough. That game we played well in the first two periods, and then it was just a few things in the third where we could have done a lot better job defensively. When it comes down towards this playoffs stretch, those type of things are going to be kind of make or break. Either we win or we lose if we can make those plays or if we can't. I think it was a good learning lesson for us to see you know, that we probably played well enough to win. We just didn't stick with it long enough. So how important it is to play you know, a full 60. Despite the outcome in St. Louis, the Penguins were starting to turn the corner. And around the next bend was the first meeting of the season against the Flyers. Head coach Mike Sullivan already had a good grasp on the rivalry. The key to this breakout for me is about the speed, okay? You guys got to go 100 miles an hour and you need some separation so one guy can't cover both. But I think the most dangerous threat is obviously that one-timer. Let's defend against that first. Okay? Like I said to you, we need controlled emotion. We need a laser focus, and we gotta compete here. All right? Let's have a good game. Skate, skate! Anything for the neutral zone? They only got one guy, so if you can suck that first guy in and get some speed with our with your partner, we should be able to beat him all night, first guy. Go, go, go! Again, up top, Gostas Bear, shot stop, rebound, shit. There they are again now. Boracek fires and he scores. Boy, just like that, the Flyers cash in again. Be careful on the four check. Just make sure you stay strong side there. Keep it going, keep it going, keep them on it. To Hagelin, the shot. Oh, big save by Mason. Good job, boys, good job. Got the crowd going. Okay. Mata. Mata over to Daly. Daly shot. Score! Hey, That's a big body. That's a big body. Oh, Make sure ball. he doesn't cheat, eh? I don't think it's cheating at all. The Penguins have tied this game at two. Oh, nice play, Ryan. Nice play, Ryan. Hagelin has Kessel going to the net. He scores! That pass was so nice. It was so soft. Like, just gave it. Just gives you a little, like, a little comfort. You know, like, yeah. Oh, we got to try to find a way to get a lead here in the first period, you know, so we don't put so much pressure on ourselves to have to respond the right way. But 
pay. It's high marks. We responded. Our power play got it started for us. We found a way, and I thought we battled real hard in the third period. There's a great face off down the stretch there. That's big. Good job. All right? While battling back after trailing in games is something the Penguins didn't want to make a habit, they were becoming pretty good at it. We're their coaches. It's our job to push them and, and get the most out of them, but we certainly don't lace the skates up and go play for them. You know, this is their team, and we encourage them to take some ownership. You know, I thought our leaders really stepped up in that regard in that game. I think our line was playing well, and Gino obviously had an unreal game. Walking with a shot. Stop. It's just kind of something that Coach Sullivan's instilled in us is resiliency. And if we're down, we can't get out. It's kind of that same mindset of never get too high, never get too low. I think that speaks volume to get down and to, you know, battle your way back. You know, the saying is they don't ask how, they only ask how many. With only one game left before the All-Star break, Pittsburgh was hoping the answer to how many would be three in a row. Yeah, so it's a 2 nothing game, and I think overall, anytime you can get a shutout, it's a good thing. I think... That whole game, we were the better team. I think that was a real important game for us for a lot of reasons. We did not get antsy, and we maintained an element of patience, and we made good decisions with the puck. Another game that, you know, you find ways to win, you're going into a long break, you want to, you know, feel good about yourself, and it was a huge win for us. Let's run. New suit again. Yeah. Uh, it's all star game suit. What's up, buddy? Oh, hey, how are you? Nice you look good. You look good. Chris Letang and Evgeny Malkin were adorned as two of the NHL's best, representing the Penguins at the All Star game. Hey, good luck, shootouts. Thank you. <laughs> you look, he's nervous. The guitar pads? Yeah. They're awesome. I mean, that's such a nice touch. That's the goalie in me. It's ready to slap that. Yeah. From neutral zone. Yeah, exactly. You won't believe the issue you created using those uh, S19s a couple games ago. You see those S19s? I still got them going. Right? I'm still holding on to them. Like. Those are like gold. One question is the same thing. He'll use them, give them back to me yes. a couple games later. Yeah, it was him. Yeah. It was hard. He's asking off the dry. Where the f are you getting those? But drones, we play one team, okay? Pass me. No, I don't pass. I don't, I just skate. If I'm open, pass me. But I always pass you. Just. Snyder with those Music City pads sees this pass go ahead to Malkin. Twirls. Score! Chris Letang finds him, and the puck ends up in the back of the net, so the heads up read there. Letang throws again. Score! Well, Chris Letang just absolutely lets go of a laser top shelf on Roberto Luongo. It's really fun time, you know. It's good life. We're excited to be here. It's an honor to represent my team and to be next to those legends like Jagger. It was uh, pretty cool. Tonight from the Consult Energy Center, the Penguins return to action after the All-Star break. And for the Pittsburgh Penguins, Trevor Daly will be on the blue line with Brian Dumoulin. Go! Go! Feet! Feet! He's a really solid two-way defenseman. He's a really good skater. He's able to make that first pass really well and kind of hop up into the rush and get his chances offensively, too. Hey! You got me! I got my gun, G! Well, the Penguins get possession. I go to the right side over to Matt Cullen. Cullen moving in and shoots the puck. Save me. Rebound. He got it back and he puts it in. Matt Cullen. He finishes against Anderson. It's 1-0 Pittsburgh. Oh, you want me back, you want me back. Center point, now it's a rip and it goes wide and stick the inside of Anderson off the board. It was on the other side of the red line, so I was a little hesitant. It felt like it was a long game. We would have a lead and then we would give it to them. We were the better team. We ended up winning and getting two points, but they were close. Trying to play in a front. Crosby, a redirecting his last trick. Crosby right in front. We'll finish it off with the Penguins. Build it to a 6 4 lead. The H team belongs to Sir Sydney. I think it's pretty safe to say that Sidney Crosby's back.
Hockey players are always trying to get better, practicing hard at the craft, both on and off the ice. By no means I'm a chef, I'm just a guy who likes to cook. We're going to slice up some garlic. Oh, the best. How <laughs> best. I like seeing how you do it first, though, because I probably do it wrong. I can't. Wow, that's thin. Now remember, this is years of practice. Yeah. And four or five fingertips lost. Really? <laughs> yes. How you doing, coach? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Just keep your fingers in safe places. <laughs> <laughs> what is that over there? This is celery act. Where does this grow? It's the root of the celery. It goes in the ground. What? Underground. So like... My hand skills are a little bit better than my knife skills, so... <laughs> yeah, right? I think that's why I like cooking the most, too, and then going to a restaurant. Because it makes me appreciate what they do, the time it takes, and the preparation. It makes it taste, I think, that much better. My love for food kind of started it was just my parents cooking and then I like to experience and try new things. How about you, Chef? I spent a lot of time with my mom in the kitchen growing up. I made a lot of uh, <laughs> fruit bowls out of watermelons. Yeah. I don't know if you ever... <laughs> I've never done that, but it's, I mean, they sound refreshing. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a good sound. Oh, garlic and onion. Something about it just gets me going. You know how to make your own chicken stock? No. That's, that's, <laughs> that's for another time. I guess that'll be episode number two as yeah. well. <laughs> We'll give it a taste. Use a little bit more salt. Definitely use some more salt. Here, do you know how to toss food? Like A little bit, but I mean, that? that's a fancy stuff. You know, that's a show. Oop. <laughs> now you're doing good. That's the dream, man. I'm going to be doing that all tomorrow afternoon. Just... Voila. Oh, I don't think I could ever do a restaurant. I think the people that do it, that's their passion. That's their full time. Obviously, cooking is my passion. I don't think I could deal with the ups and the downs. I have too much respect for it to do it myself. Now we're going to make entree, dinner. See, there's nothing I love more than meat. If you don't like meat, I don't know if I can trust you. That's perfect. Look at that, huh? Woo! My fingers aren't ready for this. <laughs> and we're almost to the best part. Now the question of the night is... If it tastes good. No, are you going to stay and do the dishes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, if you want to get fancy, you can do like a swoosh on the plate, like a half circle. <laughs> All right. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Hey, I like that one. Set one down, stand one up so you get some nice height there on the plate. Oh, yeah. I'd hire you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I go through the process, then you get the reward. Oh, it's bomb. You gotta eat it. Riding a four game win streak? The Penguins were hoping to stay hot in Florida. Lightning trying to get it going here offensively. Here comes Kalorn. He's a guy who can kind of change the momentum. Or, and there was one of them right there as it goes deflecting into the net. We were trying to play catch up for a good good chunk of the game there. Uh, it's not the way you want to play a game. I thought we had a number of times where we you know, climbed back into it, but ultimately uh, caught up to us. In South Florida, the National Hockey League presents the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Florida Panthers. Crosby keeps working feverishly to try and set plays up. Left the left side, quick stop by the Penguins, they've scored. From the left wing side, they get the goal. Congratulations, Sidney Crosby on point number 900. They'd like to get 901 before this game is done in regulation. Units up top to them. Cross now, let's take a shot. Score! There's the job. Is it a goal? Yes, it is. The Penguins have tied this game with a minute 15 to go. Daly, the Penguin defenseman to Crosby along the goal line. He's got Latang. He shoots and scores! With Latang wins it for the Penguins in overtime. The dramatic win in Florida was cause for celebration. Luckily for the Penguins, there was a party that was already planned. We're just here having a little Super Bowl get together. You try to stay away from the rink on your off days, but when it's this good, it's uh, pretty easy to come here and hang out. I think that's uh, a tradition in, uh, in the league. You know, when there's a Super Bowl, if you're not playing, uh, you want to be together with the team. Except the Pittsburgh, you know, how has been following the Steelers. I'm a huge Patriots fan, and I was pretty happy that they didn't meet in the playoffs because I'd get a pretty hard time that week. I'm a Minnesota Vikings guy, so the playoffs didn't really uh, go the way I wanted them to. I think I'm cheering for Denver. I really respect what they did on defense, and as a defenseman myself, I, I think I cheer for good defense. I want Denver. I, uh, I'm, rooting. <laughs> I'm rooting for Peyton tonight. Everyone kind of watches football, you know, especially with fantasy now. Everyone's kind of like 
into you know watching games and watching their players. That's one of my least favorite parts of football season on the Penguins because guys talk about pretty much nothing else. Well, that was a late addition to one of the teams, and uh, we really struggled this year. I would say Phil Kessel and Sidney Crosby would be probably the two guys that are the most competitive. Phil, Phil likes his football. Sid too likes it a lot. I won this year. Um, some questionable moves throughout the year. He's blessed, what can he say? Yeah, yeah he ended up winning. Uh, I ended up picking up D'Angelo Williams. I think I got off the ice. A little early. Practice was officially over, but um, not too many guys were doing that at that point. Some greasy moves, questionable moves, but uh, found a way to win. We're away a lot, so to be able to get everyone together and you know have the families together is nice. If you guys get dressed, I'll be drinking some wine over here. Seriously? Who's Stanger? Your boyfriend? You want music out there? Yeah. Let's see what I can do. Get a remote and get me. <laughs> Alright babe, all set. Skate cars. You're way too pretty to play hockey. Are you sure it's gonna fit with all your hair like that? This is like nothing I've ever seen. This facility is special and it's really cool that we're allowed to take advantage and we've got kids out on the ice skating and we're in here watching with our best friends and it makes you, makes you appreciate everything we have here. What the Penguins have is a chance. They're a talented team that has started transforming into a good one. With two months left in the season, every game is magnified. The push to the playoffs is on. Each and every game we play is critically important. One of the things that we've talked about most recently is creating a playoff identity. What do playoff teams represent? They're difficult to play against for a lot of reasons. And so if we're going to become that playoff team and create a playoff identity, we have to control what we can. Crosby, hook, slowed down, came in, beats the club, and up gets it. Great job. Really solid. I thought the third period we responded really well. If we defend the right way and play the right way and take what the game gives us, teams will open up. They'll press, right? And that's how we break games open. Nice job tonight. Somebody's taking a picture of you. Of you too? No. Oh, yeah. Are you skating? No. They don't want me to skate anymore. Why? I'm done. Why are you not skating today? Because I can't keep up anymore. <laughs> Can you, Daddy? No, I don't even own the pair of skates anymore. No, stop. No? 